In Revelation, we have seven letters to seven churches. And if you're doing Bible in the one year long with me, we are going to be reading through those. And I want you to pay attention to something. Notice how at the very end of each of these, there's reference to the one who conquers, the one who overcomes. Each of these times, it's the Greek verb nikao, which means to overcome something, to conquer something. Same verb used in Revelation 5 for how the Messiah has overcome or has conquered. So our overcoming, our conquest, our victory is in him. We share in his victory. So this is the picture in different ways each time of the final inheritance we will have as we share in the victory spoils of the Messiah. Now, to the church in Ephesus, Jesus says, the one who conquers, I will grant to eat of the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. Now, obviously, this harkens back to, to, Re to Genesis 2, where you have Adam and Eve in paradise with the tree of life and the intimate presence of God. But it also echoes a number of Jewish texts from around the first century where eschatological bliss is depicted under the image of consuming the fruit of the tree of life. Go to the end of Revelation 22, and you have these trees of life growing on either side of the water of life flowing, flowing from the Lamb of God and from the Father. So this is a picture of us in the resurrection, consuming life, consuming joy, consuming all the wonderful things that Christ our Lord has won for us, taking into ourselves his resurrection life.